Thanks, Shafaling. Well, now for a little bit of television history. After nearly 40 years' service at the BBC, Kay Alexander here presented her <laughs> final news bulletins for Midlands Today yesterday. And today is actually Kay's last day at the BBC. Mm. She's been gracing our screens since 1974. <laughs> Not just reading the news, but presenting a, a host of other programmes from Miss Great Britain to Best of Brass. Well, in a moment, we'll be saying a very fond farewell to her. But before that, Bob Hockenhull takes a look back at the career of a woman who has we have regarded as something of a broadcasting legend. It's 1976 and a Natalie dressed reporter sporting the very latest line in boiler suits is hitting our screens. Sort of thing. However, for what I'm going to do today, I shall really need it. I'm down here to meet Bill Pearson, who's got a very unusual hobby and uh, I think we'll go and meet him now. Kay Alexander was soon swapping the steam engine. That'll do, Kay. What do you want me to do next? For regular news reading duties alongside stalwarts like Tom Coyne. The friendliness in the studio wasn't just an act for the audience, it was her, herself, outside. And I realised that she's a really genuine, nice, kind person. That's why, in, as well as her professionalism, why she's probably survived so long, and all I say is that she is genuine and I hope she has a very happy retirement. Although born in Surrey, Kay was destined to become an adopted Brummie when she arrived at the University of Birmingham to study English. An authoritative presenting style combined with a cheeky sense of fun quickly won over an appreciative audience. And today the Queen put the heart of Britain onto the world stage. Kay was in more serious mood for the opening of Birmingham's International Convention Centre by the Queen in 1991, one of the more memorable events she's reported on. And only this summer, Midlands Television Royalty finally got to meet the Queen in person when Kay presented a Diamond Jubilee gift in her role as Chairman of Birmingham's Assay Office. Right, lads, ready to lower? Kay leaves Midlands today <gasps> with a God. lifetime of memories. Daredevil assignments. It's quite comfy, actually. Fronting children in need. Oh, oh, someone got me in the eye! <laughs> and Red Nose Day. You have a very good evening on BBC One tonight. Good luck, comic relief. Good night. <laughs> and becoming a regular on the breakfast bulletins. Now, look, if I can wake up that early, so can you. So you just make sure you do. But Midlands Today hasn't been the only programme to feature her talents. Here's Kay interviewing contestants on Miss Great Britain. Well, my ambition is to be a TV presenter. I see. After my <laughs> job. Kay was particularly proud of Life File, a medical series that went nationwide. Best of Brass, another favourite presented from the old Pebble Mill Studios. Well, I'm not sure applause is appropriate. Perhaps a bucket of cold water might be better. <laughs> but we continue the boy meets girl theme. Des would bring you nothing if not romance. That was a sentiment the presenter took literally on October the 1st, 1988, when she married her occasional co-presenter, Brian Conway. No wonder the viewers came to think of Kay as being part of their lives. Ten years earlier, she was featured minutes after giving birth to her son, Aleki. Half an hour ago, I gave birth to a great big bouncing baby boy who weighed in at eight pounds, five ounces. Just another product of the Birmingham Maternity Hospital, and in this programme, we're going to follow a typical day in the life of this hospital. It's not just the viewers who've taken Kay to their hearts. In 2003, the Royal Television Society presented her with a special award for her broadcasting achievements. I am very proud to work for the BBC as well. Mm -hmm. right. Any time. Now, with a heavy heart, we must say goodbye to Kay, Queen of Midlands Broadcasting. All good things must come to an end, and this was Kay's last bulletin yesterday lunchtime. I can look back with pride and pleasure. Thank you for always joining me. Bye-bye. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, oh dear. dear. <laughs> well, we have a little chat. We've got some, something for you as well. Oh, no. Here's Mary Sanchez, who you've worked with oh, for many, many years. Oh, Mary, thank you. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, how lovely. Thank you very much. Yeah, let me just take those for the moment so yes. we can see you properly. <laughs> yes. Is it possible, Kay, with all of those moments to pick out a highlight after nearly 40 years? Oh, I don't know, really. I think, I think a lot of it, actually, was things that came out of being on Midlands today. Um, I remember doing a fantastic concert at um, the ICC um, with Jose Carreras, who was the star, but I actually had to help the Duchess of Kent draw Tom Bowler. Um, you know, I, I, I became a, a, um, a director of the Birmingham Hippodrome Theatre. I became chairman of the Birmingham Assay Office. And it was all because of the job I had and the, and the sort of, well, the shop window it gave me, really. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about other things you've done, actually. I mean, this is not the only stage you've appeared on. Uh, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> this is We've got true. Some outrageous uh, pictures coming up of you. At the oh, have you? Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> That's you, isn't it, at the back? Uh, but the one that isn't Hiding. dancing. The, the one, one that isn't dancing. Statuesque. Yeah, well, thank you. Yes, that's <laughs> a nice way to put it. Yes, that was, um, that was a version of the Nutcracker Suite, but we called it the Cracked Nut. It was done for charity at the Hippodrome Theatre. And you may remember Nina Nana, who used to be our yes. arts correspondent. That's yeah, Joe Mail in there, yeah. that's it. And yes. Sue Beardsmore. And Sue Beardsmore, mm. yes. And um, we all took part in it. And um, I was going to say we had a lot of hijinks, but actually they weren't very high because we were rather stiff, really. <laughs> <laughs> kick our legs up at all mm. but it was fun you might not realize it Kay but you have been an inspiration to many and I'm afraid you have to take part of the blame for me sitting here because just to spare your blushes even further I grew up watching you <laughs> on the television when I was in Herefordshire and my mother used to say she enunciates so clearly I hope you'll be like her one yeah, day that's what people always well, say Mary then I am proud that here <laughs> you are today very proud indeed that's oh, this is becoming a loving yeah. Yeah. How, does it, how, how does it actually feel at this moment, after all these years, being a broadcaster, and now you are finishing? Well, I don't think my head is there yet. Um, I shall be awfully glad. I mean, look, yesterday I got up at 3.25 a.m. This morning I woke up at 8. Mm. You know, a it's a different. bit different. It's Absolutely. a bit different. It was very nice. And I think, um, you know, there come some points where you just know it's time to go. My contract was ending. I, I actually finished as chairman of the Birmingham Assay Office as well, and I thought, this is the time to go. My husband retired last, last um, mm. uh, Christmas, and I thought, we've got to have time together. Well, so you're certainly going to get that, and your husband, Brian, and you are a wonderful couple. The final Much goodbye loved. from UK. Well, I have to say... Oh, to the right camera, that would be a Very change, quickly. wouldn't it? Nick will be back at 10 o'clock. Have a great evening. And from me, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs>